Hey everyone, it's your boy Graphic back with another video and today we're actually going to be taking a look at Corrupted Portals. This will be a Corrupted Portal guide to help you guys make sure you're doing it the fastest, most efficient way possible while making sure you don't all wipe and have a lot of problems completing these Corrupted Portals. So the first thing we're actually going to look at is the upcoming invasion status on Cutlass Keys. So this upcoming invasion means that there's going to be a lot more Corrupted spawns uh, as you can see there's gonna be one two three four five so we're gonna have six total spawns on cutlass keys right now um, and then obviously you're gonna see that the first light only has uh, currently two and that's gonna be because this one is at upcoming war as the status so the upcoming invasion as the status on the territory will definitely make sure you have a lot more corrupted portals that you are able to do uh, corrupted portals are a great way to gain amazing XP and amazing loot as well as territory standing in that territory uh, so we're actually going to be taking a quicker look here at uh, what each portal individually does uh, so right here you're going to be able to see the recommended level as 25 and the recommended group size of 5 on these bigger portals the recommended group size of 5 is pretty accurate although for the portals that are smaller and larger, you can usually get away with about a recommended level five levels below uh, what they suggest, and you'll be just fine. Um, as long as you bring the proper food uh, that is, you know, in a decent, decent gear, you're going to be just fine. Like I said, five levels under the recommended level. Uh, we'll get in a little bit more detail on the build you're going to want to bring on corrupted portals, but for now, we're going to explain. Uh, that these larger corrupted portals that you see here that I'm highlighting over, uh, they spawn actually more one to two recommended group size portals around them. So as soon as you actually kill this corrupted portal that is a recommended group size of five, the spawns will actually kind of decrease altogether in this area until a nether recommended group size of five portal is located in this area. I hope I explained that well enough for you guys. If that doesn't make sense, just re-listen to that one more time. I know it was kind of a lot to hear. Uh, but we're going to move on to the build you're going to want to bring. Uh, uh, the food really is what you're going to want to make sure you bring more than anything else. Uh, so obviously there's a lot lot of things you can do. You could always go uh, weapon coatings. You can go to your um, – if you put down a camp, you can go to craft. And there's going to be weapon coatings that you can craft. Corrupted coatings. So if you really want, you can make these corrupted coatings, and that will help you out for sure. Uh, but for these lower tiers, really there's no need to do that. Um, and that's the same thing with corruption tinctures. Those are very helpful for higher tiers. Like I said, at this level, really not needed. Um, you're going to be able to just do a couple things. And that is first going to make sure you're going to want to craft a food that recovers health for a short time. Uh, recovery stops if damage is received. But it provides a basic ward against damage from corrupted type enemies. All cooked food grants the invigorated effect which provides slow health recovery and additional constitution for 20 minutes that is a huge piece of meat right there literally um, this honey glazed steak is tier 2 and it'll work probably up until uh, recommended level I would say 35 or 45 you'll be fine up until then uh, about 45 if you're gonna try to move on to the 65s in the white zone I would definitely recommend uh, gaining um, obviously a higher tier of pretty much everything um, but for now the honey glazed steak is going to be a great uh, great a great food option uh, for these corrupted portals but then we're going to also take a look in the camp and what kind of food or health recovery you're going to want as your secondary you're going to want meager meals uh, these meager meals are very easy to get only require two meat and one poultry this is actually very easy to to acquire and uh, most of you will already have me your meals in your inventory so that'll be great for you guys to use and those do stack so you are able to eat both of them at the same time and you'll see that in the upcoming clips of me doing corrupted portals check your map constantly and uh, look up constantly to make sure you're running toward um, these portals as fast as possible in the right direction usually you can combine two or three portals in a uh, in a row and that'll really help your XP rate and you know your farming rate all together uh, if you're going out of your way in different orders uh, it's not going to be very helpful so make sure you're taking a path that's going to be the best for you uh, so here you're going to see that this tentacle does a lot of damage but this tentacle is the fastest by far if you are high enough level it is the fastest by far to take down um, 
we're kind of <laughs> we're kind of low health here. But this is definitely the fastest, like I said, to take down because you can actually run straight to the tentacle and just burst it. If you burst it with a group of players, uh, you're basically done. Uh, you just have to finish killing the mobs around the tentacle's uh, dead lava little pit there. But after you do that, you're actually good to go. As I am struggling here to hit a shot, I know I'm low health here, so I think I'm just, I don't know what I'm doing. It looks like I'm going all the way in. And I did just switch my abilities on my sword, so uh, sorry about the terrible mechanics you're going to be seeing. Um, on my. I had the other build previously um, with the jump and the, uh, the double stag. But you're going to see there the little explosion that the tentacle makes. You're not going to want to stand in the tentacle's um, explosion radius at the end there for sure. Uh, but like I said, the tentacle is the fastest by far to kill and get the XP and loot for. So definitely beware of that. You can actually just run straight to it, like I said, and kill it as fast as possible. Just burst it down because it does do a lot of damage, uh, from decent range. So as you can see, we are actually curing the corrupted portal now, and you're going to actually be able to see how much XP we get here for a level 35. If you saw that, uh, the XP you get is pretty solid and you also get cash that's going to have uh, great gear for you really it's gotten me a lot of good gear uh, so here we're actually going to see the wave of enemies this portal is probably the longest uh, to kill portal because it comes in I believe three ways waves of enemies and uh, you're going to see that this does take quite some time like I said sorry about the uh, mechanics early on here i have this is probably my first time using this build i believe on the sword at this time when i was making this video or this gameplay so uh it is going to be a little bit rough but yeah this is going to be the longest portal to do because like i said three ways of enemies there's no real shortcuts to it um but i'm going to leave you guys with some clips so you guys can watch all of the corrupted portals in a row uh just stay tuned in the gameplay and you'll actually be walked through each individual corrupted portal and all the potential possibilities this is recommended group size of one to two and we do do a five recommended group size portal during this video in the gameplay but uh, this is recommended level 35 I think we are in what I say uh, the bottom left of the map I can't think of what it's called right now but we are in the bottom left of the map in that territory and this is recommended group level five uh, or 35 so just you know stick with us and you'll see each individual uh, corrupted portal and see what each one does and how you beat them and you'll kind of see how our group takes it down I think I'm playing with what like a 20 I think I was playing with like a 20 and 18 something some low levels basically so we we're just kind of messing around um, and I just started leveling my bow as well so it's not going to be the greatest gameplay you've ever seen so you'll be able to see how you struggle through some of these portals and kind of some ways to get past them successfully even when you're struggling so I'll let you guys to it um, I hope you guys enjoyed the video today and the guide on corrupted portals. And I'm very excited about New World. I love everything about it so far. Obviously, there's some there's some minor uh, problems that I think they'll be able to fix pretty easily. So I'm excited for the fixes. And I'll see you guys next time in the next New World preview video.